You're now 11 and 0 at home and 12 in a row days last year. How important is that? How much do you emphasize protecting your home court? Well, we talk about it every day. I mean, there's no way you can accomplish your goals. I mean, you're playing in the NCAA tournament if you don't protect your home court. Um, this league is so tough, and on the road, it's brutal. And if you don't protect your home court, you, you put yourself at a disadvantage when you're trying to get postseason play. So one of the things we've really tried to do over the last you know, five, six years is, is really come in here and, and take care of things at home. And we have some great opportunities left here at home this year. We have Florida State, we have Duke, and we have North Carolina. So, you know, the, the ACC um, race that's so tough is, is going to be, you know, we're going to have a say in the end because we have such a, you know, a, a tough schedule at home, but a great schedule, great opportunities to get some significant wins to put ourselves in a great place for postseason play. Alex's situation, did she get in the head? No. She took some cold medicine before the game and um, basically it speeded up her heart. And anytime there's, a, you know, a fast heart rate or increased heart rhythm, you get concerned. And so um, we took her, they took her to the emergency room. She's at the hospital being evaluated, but she's fine. And, um, you know, I don't think there should be any complications from it. She was shooting the ball real well, but it wasn't a blow. I mean, she just no. She just could, her heart was her. She couldn't get her heart rhythm under control. She was shooting the ball real well. She was plus had a great start. I mean, eleven points in ten minutes. I'll take it. Uh, we talked to Sasha about you know you going into the game. You're three and three in the ACC. You're mm -hmm. playing a team that had beat North Carolina, so this was a pretty mm -hmm. pivotal game for you. Sure. Well, I think it was really any, any game in the ACC is important. Every home game is very important. But when you're playing teams like we had the last couple of games, you know, that have great wins on their, on their, on their, on their resume. If you look at Miami, they've got a win over Florida State. They got, and you look at um, Virginia Tech, they got a win over North Carolina. Those things go a long way when you get down to the NCAA and selection. You know, right now this game was significant because it puts us over the edge, you know, over the hump of four games. You know, we need three. You know, you got to go at least 500 in your conference to get in the tournament. We hope to go better than that. We hope to finish better than that. But... I think this was a real confidence booster for us to be able to finish this game the way we did with um, without Alex. Um, you know, it was good confidence booster for our, our um, other players. Mo Bennett stepped up and did some great good things for us, and you know, obviously Sasha and, and Bridget were big inside again. Seems like uh, Mo is a is a catalyst on defense for you when you sent her into the game. Off the bench. Well, Mo just plays so hard. That's one thing that she does. And defensively, you saw at the Miami game, she gave us a lift, got three steals there in a row, and really got us going there defensively. And then tonight, she came in and. Hit a couple of shots and got a couple of key rebounds and steals and did a lot of little things. I mean, she started 20 games this year. You know, she's got some experience. So, you know, we don't have any, any qualms about bringing her off the bench. And she just stepped up and did tonight what she did when Alex wasn't here early on in the first six games of the season. You know, obviously, when you have that kind of experience coming off the bench, it's, it's obviously beneficial in these situations. Coach, talk about you had 16 points off turnovers in the first half. Well, you know, we as we we go offensively as our defense goes, and if we can get people to turn the ball over, and we can get steals, and we can get defensive rebounds, then we can get in transition. And when we're in transition, we're pretty good. Um, we can get the ball inside easy and easier, and you know, we get some pretty good looks in transition. So um, obviously, our, we, our offense beats off of our defense. Coach, you're showing up the bench here a little bit in the last few games. Is that because you're seeing more zone and your other teams are slowing down the tempo that you're able to do that? Not really. It's more because of you know the significance of the games, and we're in that type of the time of the season where you got to have your your you know Bridget Ardasi has to be on the floor, Deja Foster has to be on the floor, Alex Montgomery has to be on the floor. So it's one of those things where everybody is bought into their role, everybody believes in what their role is, and right now we just you know we're going through that part of the season where everybody's got to do with what the, what's asked of them. And I think Nisha and, and uh, Chelsea have done a great job. I thought Chelsea was big today, made some big plays inside. So you know I'm really pleased with where we are as far as um, playing our roles and doing what we're supposed to do. Yeah. You're in a very yeah. similar situation this year as you were last season. Mm -hmm. What kind of makes you have to do to push beyond what you had last year? Well, we got to win games. It's that simple. I mean, we got to get wins. We got to, you know, we got to get wins off the road. We've got two road games here in front of us now. We've got Maryland and we got Clemson. Obviously, you know, we feel like we need to get one or two, but we'd be nice to get two or two. Um, but you know, right now we know what to do, what we want to do. We've got to, we've got to at least get one of the two. And our goal is obviously always to win both of them. But you know, you, you, at this time of the year, you just want to keep getting better. And I think we're starting to hit our stride. This is we we talked about February being the month that this is where the race, the ACC race. And, and our season play is going to be um, determined, and this is why it's so important that we finish strong. Well, I had a, a good first half and then kept him in the game. The second half, he shut it down pretty good. Yeah, we, we really talked about that at halftime. You know, she had 13 points at first half. She had two in the second. So I thought we did a pretty good job of keeping her in front of us, not getting beat on penetration, and, um, you know, really just containing her off the dribble. In the first half, she was, you know, she pretty much just took it at us. And we, we had some mismatches.
because they were moving her from the uh, wing to the post, from the wing to the post. So it was like, you know, it was kind of a chess game trying to figure out matchups. Bridget and uh, Sasha are really developing a nice team. Well, well, well. working real well together. If you could talk about that. Yeah, I think they have a lot of confidence in each other. Um, I think they feed off of each other. When some when somebody overplays Bridget, she finds Sasha, and when somebody overplays Sasha, she finds Bridget. So I think that they've really started to have a lot of confidence and, and figure out where each other's going to be when you catch the ball. So um, you know, I'm really pleased with the way those two um, have come along. But I thought Chelsea off the bench gave us some quality minutes at the four, and then you know our perimeter players, I thought you know really did a good job of getting them the ball.